Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. Thanks for stopping by for a visit today. It is Friday here um, at the time that I am recording this video. And I am just sitting here trying to stay cool and crocheting a little bit. You may can hear the roar of the air conditioner on and there is nothing I can do about that. I live in Louisiana. It is hot, triple digit heat. So I can't turn the air condition off even to make a quick video because it just gets so hot in here. And if you live in the United States and are in the South, you know what I'm talking about. So we'll just have to put up with the air condition sound. So guys, last time I saw you, I tried, you know, had my teeth in and did a video and I was smiling through the pain, but y'all, I was in a lot of pain, okay? There was a lot of pain going on there. I really wanted to be crying through the pain. <laughs> so what happened was my dentures rubbed my gums to the point where they rub the skin off in some places on my gums and it is so raw and painful I can't even put them in right now and I do know that I can go back to the dentist at any time and they will make adjustments and I'm gonna do that next week but I'm giving my gums a little bit of time to heal up before we start doing that mess again because that is it is in some kind of pain right now and I don't feel like I can put the dentures in to even you know let them try them on and make adjustments and such no it's just too painful right now so I'm gonna let my gums heal up just a little bit um, and then I'll call and make an appointment to get some adjustments made maybe you know sometime next week but I'm gonna keep trying um, I might make some adjustments myself who knows I'm not afraid to do that okay sassy it's my yarn <laughs> so I am just crocheting trying to um, take my mind off of the pain <laughs> Because I do have pain in my mouth. Sassy. Sassy Cat here. Um, she has been on one today. She has been running wild through the house. Just playing and having herself a good old time. I guess she's tired now. So she has come take her a little nap. Huh, Sassy? No. Sassy. No. It's mine. Sassy, no. Okay, you got to get down. <laughs> she is one spoiled cat, I'm telling you. So, so spoiled. Sassy. Okay, so I'm going to put her down, and then I'm going to tell you the project I'm working on. Come on, Sassy. Come on, big girl. Ugh. That's my baby. Now, Phoebe's coming. She's going to get on to you when I put you down. Y'all going to hear Phoebe jump on Sassy. She barks and chases her away because Phoebe knows I don't really want Sassy up here. So she has to tell her, you know, you're not supposed to get up there. And now Phoebe's already jumped back up in her bed. She just wanted to bark and chase Sassy away. So <laughs> what am I working on? Well, I pulled out an older project the other day and showed you guys um, 
what I was going to be working on. So I'm going to be working on that project this weekend. And also this project. And I'm almost to the very end. So give me one second here. To get to my end and connect. And then I'll explain what this project is. So this weekend I plan to work on these two projects. And just see how much work I can get done on them. I'd like to bust these two out and that does depend on how I feel because um, you know having a few issues <laughs> okay so I made my three rounds on that so I can cut this all right so you may remember a little while back um maybe a month or so ago maybe two months ago i'm not really sure but i had a video about two different ways to make a granny square blanket and so i showed the way where you make just the one strip and then crochet back around that little strip and then keep crocheting around in the granny square stitch to grow it to a rectangle blanket and I also showed how to take three small rectangles and put them together and then crochet around that to make a granny square blanket so this is one square and this is three rounds one two three that's one square this is one square and this is one square and I just um, crocheted those three together And then I just started crocheting around with that darker pink and then with the red. So what I want to do with this project is I want to make a rainbow blanket. Um, you're probably aware, but I'll go ahead and say this anyway, that whenever someone has a miscarriage, um, their next baby is considered a rainbow baby. And I do not know how that got started. Um, I'm sure I could find it on the internet if I was, you know, inclined enough to look it up. But really, I don't, I don't need to know. <laughs> Honestly, I just know it's a thing, okay? I don't know how I got started and I really don't care how I got started. I mean, I could look it up if I really wanted to know. But obviously, I don't really want to know. Um... But anyway, my brain can only hold so much information, and I just don't need it to hold information that I don't really need. <laughs> Let's just hang on to information that I do need. Like, I'm, I'm that way about a lot of things. So, um, what I decided to do with this blanket is I'm going to make a rainbow blanket. Um, there have been times where... I know someone who has had a miscarriage and then they're finally expecting and you know they're far enough along in their pregnancy that they're actually telling people or having a baby shower or whatever i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> and so um and i've wished you know at the time i'm like oh i wish i had a rainbow blanket or you know something like that and, you know, I don't have enough time to, like, knock one out for them. So, I want to do this just to have one on hand, I guess, um, for if I, that situation comes up again. So, that's what I'm doing. I started with a light pink. And then I went to this little bit of a darker pink. And then red. And now I'm doing orange. Next, I will do yellow. And so, I'm just going to go through the rainbow colors and I don't know that you know I'll see how big that is at the end and then um, I might repeat the colors I have really I really have no idea I'm just play it by you know sight whatever it looks like when I get all the colors in I'll decide what I'm going to do next and then I might trim it with a white um, scalloped edge or something like that what I'm thinking now I may change my mind but since I'm feeling really bad and 
I just need um, something easy to do while I just sit here and recover and try to find something to watch. I thought this would be a easy project to work on. Mindless. And I don't have to put a lot of thought into it. <laughs> That's the kind of projects I'm needing these days is mindless projects. So, um, what happened with my mouth, I wore those dentures the rest of that day. I believe that was Wednesday. I wore them the rest of that day, and when I took them out, I mean, they were hurting. It was painful, but I am wearing was wearing them anyway because, you know, I, I think that's what you have to do to get used to them is wear them through the pain. Tell me if I'm wrong on that, but, um... <laughs> When I finally did take them out, oh my gosh, it hurt so bad that, yeah, the skin had rubbed off of my gums in some places, top and bottom. And it was just so painful, so painful. I ended up taking pain medication. And I am the type that will wait till the last resort to take pain medication. Um, I'll suffer a long time before I give in to pain medication just because of past experiences. I don't like to take pain medication. But I did that night. And I took some Zofrin with it because pain medication does make me really nauseated and throwing up and stuff. So I took some Zofrin. And I went to bed. I woke up during the night bunches of times, just so nauseated and sick feeling. I finally got up and took some more Zofrin and went back to bed. Because I was still groggy from the pain medication. And then I, um, I woke up several times, but I only took the Zofrin once through the night. And then that next morning, Thursday morning, I got up and I was just so nauseated. I was just sitting here. I could not even function because I felt like any move was going to make me start throwing up. So I took some more Zofrin and went and got in the bed and laid down for a while. And then I got up and was trying to, you know, just like move around some, but I was so nauseated, so sick feeling all day Thursday, like it was just miserable. So by early afternoon, I ended up taking some more Zofrin. And I don't know if I've taken too much Zofrin or what but now I'm having horrible stomach cramps like my stomach is just hurting so bad I'm having really bad stomach cramps and the only thing different is I drank some that Starburst Starburst drink mix that you add to your water I drank one of those in the pink flavor color whatever and I've taken a lot of Zofrin. So that's the only thing I've done different in my life that I can think of would be causing the stomach pain. Now, I don't know if that Starbus, Starburst pink drink stuff, I don't know if that really causes, if that can mess with your stomach and cause horrible stomach pains. Like, I'm not really sick to my stomach. It's just pains. Like, my stomach just cramps up, and it's just really, really painful. So, either that or the Zofrin that I've taken. So, I'm trying to hold off and not take any pain medication or any Zofrin. And see if my stomach will stop hurting. Like, right now, it is just knotting up hurting. So, I don't know. That's the first time I've ever drank that pink drink, that Starburst, Starburst pink 
drink. I got that at Walmart. And that's the first time I've drank any of that. Now, I did drink. I drank some, and then I started on a second cup of it later, like uh, last night. And then I thought, well, I wonder if this could be causing my stomach to hurt so bad. So, that's where I'm at. Um, <laughs> stomach cramps. Gums hurting. <laughs> I feel like that's going to be my weekend. And so that's why I thought, okay, I just need something easy to work on this weekend. So I'm going to work on this Granny Square Rainbow Blanket. And also I'm going to work on that uh, multicolor blanket where I'm adding the little tiny skeins of yarn. I'm going to be working on that blanket also. And I'll be doing a video on that and answering some questions that was put on that video's comments. But yeah, I, I want to get this little rainbow blanket done and just kind of put it in a tote box to keep it um, for if I need it for a reason. Probably that's what, you know, that's what I'm thinking right now that I'm going to do with it. Now, Elijah was our rainbow baby. I had a miscarriage before Elijah. And so he was our rainbow baby, but I really never really called him that or made a big deal about that or anything. Um, I just know it. I mean, I don't know if he's even aware of that. I don't know. Um... I guess he is because I do remember one time I was at the doctor's office and he was with me and they asked um, how many times have you been pregnant or something like that and I answered three and I remember him looking at me like you've only got two kids <laughs> he was a little kid and um, and then they asked, you know, how many living children do you have or whatever. And I said, two. And I believe later on, I did tell him, maybe when we were in the car or after they left, I did tell him something about, I've been pregnant three times, but we lost one. So, I guess he is aware. I don't know. That was just one time that we only talked about that, I think. But anyway, I think this would be pretty. It'll be a pretty colorful little blanket, if nothing else. A little lapgan size blanket. Um, also, it might be something I can put in the fair. So, yeah. We'll see. We'll see how far all these colors get me. And what I am doing, I'm doing three rows. I did three on this granny square. I did three rows of this pink. Three rows of the red. And so I'm going to do three rows of orange. And just kind of work it like that and see how it works up. It'll be an easy project to work on while I'm not feeling well. But, you know, I wanted to come on and make a video and let you guys know that, hey, I'm still here. I'm still smiling through the pain. I just don't have my dentures in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Y'all have been so incredibly sweet to me, and I appreciate that so very much. Y'all are the best. I have the best subscribers out there. Y'all are so, so sweet and kind. I love you guys, and I appreciate you watching my videos. And um, I will be back with more. Me and Big Daddy are going to do a video together. Maybe, maybe we can record it tonight. I was going to record it last night, but um, we ended up having company. Our youngest son, Elijah, actually came out. And um, so we didn't do a video. But hopefully we can get a video done maybe tonight. And it can come out tomorrow. We'll see. 
we'll see what happens guys but i will be back and remember it is a beautiful day to crochet and i hope you have a great weekend tell me what your plans are for the weekend you got do you have big plans going on um i did see where someone in a town not too far from us it's, it's very drivable is having a barbie estate sale and they have like over 300 barbie dolls in this estate sale and tomorrow for saturday is going to be barbies only that's all they're going to have in the estate sale so i saw that and i kind of want to go but i feel like that they're going to be priced really high like above my budget and then also I was watching one of the videos about the sale and a lot of the Barbies are going to be upstairs. Now this lady um, that owned these Barbies, she had a room upstairs in her house dedicated to the Barbies and they were in these lighted cases along the wall. It looks super cool. I'm sure there's some really, really nice Barbies up there. But I don't know that I could do the stairs because it's a big two-story house. I don't know if I could do the stairs to even go upstairs and look. Downstairs, they're going to have Barbies that's still in the original boxes. So I know those are going to be priced really high and probably the ones upstairs too. So Big Daddy had asked me, do you want to go? And I said, I want to, but no because I think they're going to be priced really high and plus I don't know that I can do the stairs to go upstairs to even look at the Barbies so he's saying well we could just ride down there and look but I don't know I don't want to ride down there and look and then just be disappointed <laughs> so I don't know I don't really have plans on doing anything other than crocheting on these two blankets it's so hot out there like oh my gosh we need to cool down it's so hot and dry that we are under a statewide burn ban so we can't burn anything and we do burn like cardboard boxes we have a barrel and that's what you do when you live in the woods um, we do have garbage pickup that picks up our regular garbage but cardboard and stuff like that um and we don't have recycling here we don't have any kind of recycle type system going on so we burn cardboard and such um but we can't even do that because of the burn ban. It is so, so dry. Very, very dry and hot. We are ready for cooler weather. I told my friend Angela, who y'all met in a video a couple months ago. I told her we are not going to complain about the weather this winter. No matter how cold it gets, we're not going to complain about it. <laughs> okay, we probably will. But my goodness, this heat is something else. We are so ready for cooler temps, which won't be till about October for us. Maybe even the end of October. But if it would just get down below 90s, that would feel really good to us. Because this triple digit mess is too much. I really don't even know what the temp is right now. But I can just tell you, it looks hot out there. I barely opened the door to let Phoebe in and out today. And I personally am not sticking my head out there. So, I like this orange going around it. Alright guys, I'm going to let you all get going for reals. I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Check back with me. There's going to be videos. 
and I will see you in the next video. Remember, it's a beautiful day to crochet. Bye, friends.